A Filipino worker who managed to flee the violence in Syria says she's never going back to that country again. Patricia Ongshako has that story. Arlene Castillo has been working as an overseas domestic helper since 1996. She has been deployed to countries like Kuwait and Bahrain before. But it was only after she was deployed to Syria that she vowed she will not work as an OFW again. Tawag nito, baka doon sa lugar uli na pupuntahan ko, baka mas may worse o baka mas worse pa yung dadaanan ko na paghihirap. Arlene arrived in Damascus on November 5, 2010. She cared for two children and tended to household chores from 5.30 in the morning to 11 in the evening. She recalls her employers controlled her every move, even down to the time she would eat, sleep and bathe. Overwork and underpaid, Arlene finally decided to seek refuge in the Philippine Embassy in Damascus in October last year after encouragement from a fellow OFW. She explains it took her over four hours to reach the embassy due to the riots on the street when it would normally take around 30 minutes. Arlene thought she would be safe from the torment of her employer once she reached the embassy, but she never expected she would then fear for her life as the war in Syria intensified. Naya, ganun naman palang nangyayari na may declaration na ng repatriation, tapos tatanungin pa ako tumakas. Bakit daw ako tumakas sa employer ko? Sa ganun. Sabi ko, kuya, ayaw ko, ma ayaw ko pa mamatay eh. Arlene recalls the agony of waiting for over two months before all her papers and exit clearances were processed before she can head back to the Philippines. Siyempre, iniisip talaga namin na yung takot na, na sabi namin kailang kami makakauwi, paano kami makakauwi, nandito na yung gera. Minsan early in the morning mat maririnig mo sa kabilang kali lang at puputokan na. Oh, sino makakapasin, hindi ba matatakot sa ganong sitwasyon, di ba na nasa mismo city na yung gera. Ay, pasabihin, nandun ka sa loob, hindi mo masasabing safe ka eh. Arlene is among the 1,716 OFWs that have been repatriated from Syria. After her traumatic experience, she now vows to help OFWs in war-stricken destinations, especially Syria, return to the Philippines. She hopes the government can repatriate the 11,000 OFWs who still remain in Syria at the soonest time possible as the situation has escalated further since she left. Patricia Ongshako, Solar News.